Ay, ay. What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to share with you today how to make 100k plus as an online personal trainer. That's right. If you're a fitness coach, fitness instructor, online per or a personal trainer who wants to go online, guys, listen up and pay attention because today we're going to show you how to do that, but not only do that, make 100k plus most importantly. But before we dive in, I would love it if you showed some love subscribe, share, comment, and even like if you get value out of this video because the more love you show me, the more love I can show you and the more I can pump out massive impactful videos on a high level. So today, woo, first thing, I'm pumped, I love this. All right, first thing when you're considering yourself to first of all, be an online personal trainer and make 100K plus, you need to understand identifying and creating your ideal avatar is huge. Okay, if you don't do this, you're gonna be lost, all right? And the reason why you wanna identify and create your ideal avatar is because you need to know who you're serving, okay? Most importantly, all right? I have a saying that goes, if you try serving everyone, you don't serve anyone, okay? So you need to figure out who you're gonna be the superhero for. When you figure out who you're gonna be the superhero for, you can pour in massively. Because now you kick out the tire kickers you're not meant to work with and you bring into life the people you wanna work with. It's gonna make you happier, it's gonna make them happier, and it's a win-win for everybody. And you understand the direction you wanna drive your online personal training fitness business, all right? Next, create your core offer. This one's powerful. And this one definitely goes right after this one of, of creating your ideal avatar. The reason being is because you wanna know what you're offering. All right, what is the solution to that avatar's problem? Okay, you wanna know what you're driving as your offer or multiple offers so that way you're not left out and you know what you're giving and you can actually deliver results, right? And give that solution, All right? So building out your core offer is super important. And not only that, but understanding the deliverables that go into your offer, understanding the price points of your offer, right? And if you have multiple offers, understanding how each one plays off one another, right? If you have a high ticket, if you have an in-between, if you have a low ticket, understanding what the price point of that high ticket is so you understand how to price out the other ones. And then you can also on top of that, understand what deliverables go in the high, what deliverables go in the middle one, what deliverables go in the low one, and how you can play off of each one so that way you can drive success into your prospect and turn them into your client who is your avatar, okay? So no, understanding your offers is super important. Next, picking a platform to run your business from. Super important as well. A lot, I, can tell, I don't know how to tell you how many times I come across coaches who are just out there running wild and don't even have a platform to run their business from. It's just sending videos through DM or through text message or through WhatsApp or Google Drive. Guys, we don't wanna do that anymore. I'm not saying, I've, I've done it at the beginning one time and I immediately have to realize, oh man, I have to make a shift. This doesn't look professional. This definitely doesn't keep it organized and I don't have quality control. So picking where you're going to run your fitness business room is important. So we got, we got softwares like True Coach, Trainer, Trainerize, My PT Hub, and there's other ones, but picking one of those softwares to run your business and keep it organized and, and also presentable for your client is super important, especially if you're charging high ticket pro, uh, products, you want to make sure it's presentable, clear to understand, and that it makes sense for your client and you. All right, next, we're gonna go on to being on social media. If you are not on social media, you will not have a successful online business. I'm telling you that for a fact, okay? You need to be on social media. Those who are not on social media are gonna get cut out. Those who are on social media are not on social media are not gonna drive traffic. Those who are not on social media are not gonna be able to capitalize correctly. So you gotta be on social media. But most importantly, the right social media platforms. Here's the problem. A lot of coaches are either not on social media or when they are on social media, they want to get on every platform. You don't want to get on every platform either. You're going to drive yourself crazy, guys. Okay? You need to pick and choose and ask yourself, which are the, the two most important platforms that I start with first that my what? My avatar hangs out in. Okay? So you need to start with the two platforms that your avatars hang out in. Okay, those are the ones you wanna get on. If you can get on those two, that's more than enough at the beginning. Drive your energy, drive your passion, drive your hard work into those two platforms and you'll see things come into fruition. And then once those platforms are automated, then you can dive into other social media platforms. But you gotta start with those two first ones that your avatars are hanging out with, okay? Next, put out impactful content. Now, without impactful content, there is no social media, okay? And this is the other thing is, 
you can't just put any content, you need to put impactful content. Impactful content means content that drives impact, content that drives value, content that drives expertise, personality, relatability, all right, connection. You need to put yourself um, in, 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 a, in a diverse way on social media in the sense of showing who you are, especially if you're building your personal brand, all right, around this. People as coaches, right? So, so people, people who come and look at coaches' pages, what you don't understand as a coach is that people don't wanna just see a library of, a library of workouts on your, on your social media feed. They already know you're a coach. What they wanna see is who you are as a person, sharing your qualities, your morals, your values, your belief systems, your hobbies, the things you like, the things you don't like. If you have a family, show your family. If you don't, it's okay, but show your friends as well, hanging out. All right, show your day-to-day -day life. People wanna know you as a person. Remember, I'm not gonna buy from anybody unless I know you as a person and if I connect with you, right? I'd rather buy from the coach who already knows how to do workouts, who can serve me, but has a great personality versus a coach who doesn't even show his personality and I don't even know who the hell they are. So you wanna understand that showing content and putting content of that impact is crucial. And of course, sprinkling in your work, your expertise, your authority, your credibility, what you do, of course it's important, but you need to make sure you are, you surround it with all the other pieces of content that I just mentioned around your lifestyle. When you do that, it's a perfect formula, all right? I teach the eight most impactful pieces of content, and that's why my clients are getting massive success every single day, all right? Next one, have a lead generating machine. Woo! If you do not have a lead generating machine, you are losing. And this is the part that people understand is, great, I'm on, I'm on social media, I'm on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, whatever it is, TikTok, YouTube, I'm just gonna go out there now and post. Okay, great, now what? Are you taking advantage of your posts? Are you treating your posts like your own gym? Are you treating your page like your own gym? Are you treating your posts as opportunities to get leads, all right? And you have other systems behind there showing you how to get leads on social media. That is a big one. If you don't have a lead generating machine in your social media that you're operating day to day, you're gonna lose out. Okay, you're gonna lose out. You need to have an impactful lead generating machine. Okay, you need to be using your post. You need to be using hashtags. You need to be using locations. You need to be using existing current clients' social media pages to be able to get more uh, prospects from those people's pages, right? You need to understand how to use all these different features on your social media to generate leads and convert leads, all right? You need to also understand that having a script, a framework to be able to approach your lead is important too and know how to make that introduction and connection, okay? How to connect with that lead now. How to ask the right questions to get them to where you want them to get, to get them on a call. You need to have a framework behind this. A lot of people just go, hey, I'm just gonna go in there and start throwing at it, right? And going at it. Great in the sense of you're moving the needle, but bad in the sense that if you keep attacking over repetition with something that doesn't work, it doesn't make sense, right? That's why that saying goes, you know, of I'm gonna, I'm gonna attack something for 10,000 hours. Well, what if those 10,000 hours are shitty hours? What if they're shitty reps? Then you don't get anywhere. I want to attack those 10,000 hours with good quality reps, not shitty reps, all right? Then those 10,000 hours are impactful, right? So you need to understand that you need to have some kind of a blueprint, a system ready to go. So when you attack your lead gen, all right? And when you speak to these people, you need to know what you're saying, okay? Now, the next thing, sales. I put this one in big, guys. I put this one in big because sales is important. I don't care what trainer out there thinks that, oh man, you know, sales sleazy, sales says, I don't need to know that much. No, you need to know sales, especially if you're independent and you're on your own and you're an entrepreneur. You're not a true entrepreneur if you don't know sales. And if you don't wanna learn sales, and if you don't wanna get better at sales. Guys, sales is not a bad thing. If you wanna use a different word to describe sales, go ahead. But selling is serving, all right? The more you sell, you the more you serve. If you don't sell, it's a disservice, right? Think about it. If you believe in your product so much and you're that motivated about your product, and you know you can drive health and wellness into people's lives, then you're doing a disservice by not putting yourself out there and not selling what you believe in. There's somebody that needs your solution and you're holding back from giving them that solution. So you need to go out there and sell it, okay? Understand that sales is great, sales is good. Sales is changing somebody's life. 
So you need to start thinking and operating differently with the way that you think about sales and the way you perceive sales. All right, sales is a great thing. Remember, the more you sell, the more you serve. You're providing a solution to somebody's problem. All right, so get very good at sales and understand that sales is gonna be the feeder, the injector into your business to keep your business moving and running. If no sales are coming in, you're out of business. So you gotta understand sales is highly important. Next and last, great communicator. I can't stand how upset, right? And I used to even get upset with myself when I used to not learn how to become a better communicator. And there's a lot of coaches out there who are refusing to put time into becoming a better communicator. Guys, communication is everything, right? Communications is the needle mover of sales. If you wanna be able to get great at sales, you have to be a great communicator. Practice, role play with a friend, role play with a business partner, role play with another trainer, role play with a family member. Role play, communicate, speak. The more you talk to people, the more you communicate, the better of a communicator you get, right? You can even stand yourself in front of a mirror if you can't find somebody and talk to yourself. Role play with yourself, who cares? Actors do it all the time, actresses do it all the time. They're talking to themselves. Why? Because they're getting better. Every single day they do that and they communicate more, whether it's to themselves or somebody else. So go and challenge yourself and communicate. Go learn about communication. Learn how to enhance your communication skills. Because communicating more and more and more and more is gonna make you a better salesperson, a better deliverer, right? And it's gonna also help you speak about your program and your solution, solution much better to somebody. And when somebody sees confidence in your communication, People buy into their, your confidence, all right? People buy into the way you speak. If you're bold and stern, and you know how to drive your energy up and down at the right times, you know how to drive confidence in your conversation, you know what to say what at what moment, you know how to avoid things in certain, you know how to listen as well, because listening is a huge part of communication. It's not always talking. Listening is a huge part of communication. It's probably the biggest one. The more you listen, the more feedback you get, the more ammunition you have. So listen as well, okay, listen, all right? Learn what to say, but most importantly, listen, so that way you can respond with the right responses. So guys, these are all gonna be the most important things you need to understand to, to be able to make 100K plus in your online personal training business. Okay, if you can get these key components down, I guarantee you're gonna be a successful online trainer making over six figures a year. And you're gonna be able to have more time, more energy, more money, more fun, more passion doing what you do. If you guys got value out of this video, if this video impacted you in any way, if this video showed you something differently, I would really appreciate it if you show some love by liking, subscribing, commenting, and sharing this video with other fitness coaches out there who might be suffering with their business or might need more answers to be able to get the needle moving to make over 100K plus. I'm a per I was a personal trainer myself. I wanna see more personal trainers win. Why? Because if more personal trainers win and drive passion and love and excitement into their business and are making money, that means that they're going to be able to impact their clients at a higher level and drive health and wellness into those people's lives. And if I can help the trainer to put healthier people out there, I'm going to be a happy ass person. This is why I want to impact coaches so they can impact more lives out there. Guys, much love. Till next time. The more love you give me, the more love I can give you, the more videos we got going. Woo!